Hey guys, welcome back to Game of Duel. So today is Friday, and that means that we are using heroes. <laughs> so, uh, how y'all doing today? I'm, I'm, I'm pretty chill. Wow, just immediately scoops it up. Just sees E-Call e and immediately scoops it up. Like, damn. This hand was okay. I was just going to search for Shadow Mist. That's a Shadow Mist. You're going to kill it. He's going to search and I get fuel from Miracle Fusions. All right. They're back. Apparently this person is using Xyz apparently wants nothing to do with Hero, so we are back. Alright, we're back. Hopefully this person won't just outright quit. Like, come on. Like, come on. It ain't even that bad. This hand is kind of shitty. <laughs> yeah, this hand is kind of shitty. Guess we'll just take it slow. Anyway, welcome back, Heroes. So... You guys can tell by the title of the video, yes, another girl, like, damn it, really, another freaking girl, like, what's up with you and girls, like, Daniel, like, ah, I know, I know, I'm terrible, I'm terrible, but yes, another, another girl, so you're probably wondering why the name, Shell Girl, well, she's in my calculus class, so I can't use calculus, cause, you know, No. <laughs> I'm thinking, like, if I allow you to summon that, you're probably gonna go into, like, a freaking, uh, a, uh, a, wow, you're just gonna end your turn, you're not gonna fucking do anything. It's really surprising, sir. Fine, then. I'm just gonna summon aliens. I, was, I, I almost activated e call. Oh my god, if I would have activated e call, I've been such a fucking idiot. Just run over the fucking Pegasus. Does it, it discard as soon as it's... So, because it can't... I don't know why it didn't go to the graveyard. I mean, go to the spell and trap card zone. Eh, not my problem. <laughs> nah, gonna flip you up. Let me guess, it's the fucking turtle with the big old booty? Yes, it is. I was thinking it was going to be the turtle with the big old juicy booty, but I was like, nah. Maybe not. Yeah, it is. <laughs> turtle with the big old juicy booty. So, the reason why I named her show girl is because, A, she's my calculus class, so we already have a, uh, a calculus girl, of course, you know. And B, her name is close to the word shell, but it's not exactly shell. So, it's probably the closest out of all the names. Alright, so I don't know why you went, but you didn't. Huh. So, like I said, I'm good and ready. I can go ahead and Gemini Sparkity Spark Spark that fucking uh, turtle. Get him off my fucking field. Like, get off. Oh, that's fine. No, that's fine. So what, you gonna come after my fucking uh, Shadow Mist? Hello? No, that's fine. So you must really want that tortoise there. Hello? No, that's fine. Oh, right, I forgot the whole game, the attack thing. Totally forgot about that. Let's well, say, why the fuck are you crashing into me? Totally forgot about the uh, Topaz Tiger attack increase. That's cool. I'm good. That sucks. <laughs> anyway, so I'll be talking about her in this video. Yes, I wouldn't have been wanting to talk about her for a cool minute, but I'll be talking about her in this video. Alright. I'm going to uh, set that. Uh, set that. Set that. So I should summon you. Bubbly. No. Then we'll then we'll search. I almost I almost messed that up. No. Then we'll search. Again, we'll never summon. So now we have a target for our Gemini Spark and everything. 
Don't want to see into anybody. I don't even have enough for Emerald, do I? No. Oh, wait. I have an idea. I have an idea. Daniel has an idea. Go into you. What? No. No. Activate my effect. You're like, say, what? Summon. Alias back. I'm a genius. Channel Mr. Fat. Give me a bubble. <laughs> That's only when you attack. Yep, that's only when you attack. Alright, cool story, bro. Alright, so before I begin talking about her, because I will be talking about her in this video, I've been wanting to talk about her for the last couple of days, I will be uh, discussing my uh, my Thursday, which of course in fellows goes into the story of her. So, uh, Thursday, I of course have women's studies and I have. Uh, it's match charge. I was had mass change. No mass change so far. No. So they're using mass heroes, but there's not a mass change in sight. Hello? What does Crystal Abundance do? So I'm going to spend all... Oh, hell no. Hell no. <laughs> Hello? Hell no to that. Fucking that could have that could have easily killed me. Like no 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 no, no no. Tree, that's fine. Hell no to that. Uh, that's scary. That's a scary ass card. I got some scary ass cards in Crystal Beast. Like, yeah. Wonder if he's running the new support. I did. It is uh, OCG, of course, because the hero support is not TCG. So there's OCG. Uh, anyway, let me talk, let me start talking because if I don't talk, start talking now, then I won't get it. So uh, for now, for now, we're at the end of the semester. But uh, so women's studies, what the fuck does that do? No, that's fine. All right. Wow, alright, you're just gonna surrender. Wow. I was thinking about responding, I was thinking about me doing something to the tree with the Gemini Spark, but, uh. Alright, be right back. Alright, back. So, women's studies. Um, uh, the final is, uh, this upcoming Tuesday. So, uh, literally what we did was, uh, review for our final by, uh, playing a game. So, uh, she literally split us into, uh, groups. And uh, we played this game for a point, so there are uh, five teams, so, you know, you get extra credit. So, uh, best place gets uh, one point, fourth place gets two points, etc, 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 etc. Alright, you're just gonna grab the, the MST, huh? That's fine. Blind space, my D prison, that's cool. Cool story, bro. You've got some background yourself, huh? Oh, it's the planes. Alright. No, that's fine. It's just gonna end. Like, fuck that. Wow, I am not drawing into shit. Nah, there's no... Ah, I'll set this. But there's really no reason. I'm just gonna set that just to scare the shit out of them. But, wow, I am not drawing into shit. <laughs> we got consistency out the ass, and I ain't drawn into shit. Okay. Can I draw into one of my many, many, many consistency cards? No, that's fine. No, that's fine. Nah, that's fine. What do you do? Oh, okay. Now you're level 10. You're in tribute to search. 
and then make a Draco sack. Running the shit out of a Draco sack. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, so so on and so on. So five teams. So the, the the team that gets first place gets five points. And the bottom team gets one point. So literally, she had like this wheel, and she would spin it, and you get that many points. She would ask you a question, and if you get it right, you get the points. And no, someone could steal. Wow, Gustav Max. I'm warning him. I thought you were gonna use your effect tribute token and uh and search. Huh? Should be one token, add one mech. That's how you're gonna do that. Then some Draco stack. I didn't know you were gonna do that. That was just a weird play. So, you know, we got triple Shadow Mist, triple Rota, triple E Call, triple, you know. Dude, seriously? No. Hmm. Alright, fine. You get your fucking stupid soul charge. I clearly do not have the hand to be facing off against a Draco Sack right now. So he's just gonna XE into Draco Sack, detach, summon two more tokens, and then. Yep, and blow up my Gemini Spark, I'm assuming. I really did not want you to use that broke charge. Especially since my hand is so ass right now. I really do hope I draw into a monster. And we can fucking handle this situation. Thunder King Rao works. That works. So, we'll go ahead and, uh,. So this Thunder King, where were you last turn? Last fucking turn, you would have been the tits. This turn, not so much. Not so fucking much. Not so fucking much. Hello. All right. I'm gonna make a one on one and eat ourselves a nice, delicious Draco sack because he decided to put in attack mode. If we will put in defense mode. I would have cast out it, so it really doesn't matter. But you know, thank you for drawing. Still not a fucking consistency card. I would say, summoning the tokens isn't going to change the fact that I'm going to eat you. Alright. So, I really do not want to lose the Mecha Phantom Beast, but at this rate, it's not looking too hot. I said, I opened up pretty bad. For all the consistency that I have in this deck, I opened up pretty bad. You gonna make a black rose? Yeah, he's a tuner. Yep, black rose? Sure. <coughs> yeah, yes. I didn't lose much. You lost more than me. I didn't have much. No vanities, alright. So, literally, like, the high consistency in this deck doesn't want to seem to cooperate with me today. Yeah. Let's have triple shot miss, triple rota, triple ecall, triple uh, hero lives. Like, any of those would be just fabulous. Oh. Fuck, no, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm gonna grab that D prison. That's fun. So, mathematician will drop that one guy who summons a token. My opponent is still in this, you know. My opponent's real chill right now. Everyone who's kind of struggling right now is me. Pulse. 
That's nice. Once again, where are my fucking consistency cards? Where? Nowhere to be fucking found. Nowhere to be fucking found. Thank you. Thank you. Is that so fucking hard to give me fucking what I want? Fucking finally some fucking consistency up in this bitch? Oh fucking yeah. I don't like the idea of this, but fuck it. D prison? Go ahead. I know you got it, so go ahead. Ah, oh, that's fine. Yep, I need to get to draw a card. So, that's one way to handle the D prison. I still got a nice 1900 beater. Anyway. Uh, so she split us into groups of five. I think one team had six, but uh, literally, it was just review for the final. So she'd ask questions and we'd answer them, and then we could steal a point. So literally, uh, you know, I didn't study at all. So I was thinking I was gonna do ass, and uh, surprisingly, I was like one of the most impressive people. Oh, Miracle Fusion, so fucking good. You know, Miracle Fusion can fucking just win me the game. The best I can do right now is Miracle Fusion into the Shining. Or, or, uh, or Absolute Zero, the Shining would be better. So, I guess I'll wait until, uh, Alias gets killed and then do that, but. Seems like my opponent is kinda hooped out, I guess. I have a feeling that he's gonna play Skate and Go when I try to attack, because if it was a game, he would have surrendered. No. Unless he wants to go down. Nope, he wants to go down like a man. Cool. Cool. I like when people go down like a man. Alright. You know what? That's enough. Done enough? Yeah. That's enough. I need to focus on talking. Because I need to talk about her. So, I mean, began talking about her already 17 minutes in. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So, uh, honestly, you ended up being one of the most impressive people. I was stealing a lot of points. And literally, is some bullshit. So, we were in first place. We were in fucking first place. We were 95, I think, points... We were, we were, yeah, we were like 95 points ahead of the second place team. And literally, the second place team, the only, the, on the wheel, there's only one 100 and then a whole bunch of things over. If they didn't roll the fucking 100, they wouldn't get it. They fucking rolled the wheel, the wheel spun, it landed on 100, they answered the question, and they passed us up at the last fucking second by five, by getting lucky. I'm like, wow, luck. Fuck luck. Fuck luck. <laughs> like, if there's anything that you guys know about me, fuck luck. So, I get four extra credit points. We got second place. That's fine. You know, we came back from nothing, because literally, like, our first question we missed, so we started off with zero points. So we came all the way back, and we were still in points, and we were doing well, so I'm proud of that. So, like I said, final is on Tuesday. I need, like, a fucking 50% to get a fucking B, and that's all I want in the class, so yeah. Alright, calculus class. Um, calculus, uh, we're doing polar equations, which is, yeah, I don't like polar, so... You know, derivatives of polars, etc., 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 like stuff like that, so, bleh. So, uh, that's what I was doing. Uh, got my test back, the one that I thought I failed. She curved it so hard that I thought I failed, and I ended up getting a B, so that's great. So, uh, you guys don't give a shit. You guys don't give a shit about the class. You don't give a shit about anything you want to hear about Shellgirl. So, let me go ahead and talk about her. So, Shellgirl, I previously talked about her in a previous video. I don't think I ever gave her a name, but I stated that I stayed after class. I think it was, uh... Um, the Anaheim uh, experience, yeah, Anaheim experience video, where I said that I, at the beginning, I said that I stayed after class and talked to this girl for two hours. That was Showgirl. So, uh, Showgirl, so of course my calculus class. I'm terrible at talking to women like usual. I noticed that I can't have a hard time speaking in my mind. Like, I'll have something on my mind that I want to say to a girl to be, like, flirtish, flirtatious, but... Generally, it doesn't come out because I'm thinking like, oh, I don't want to sound stupid or I sound like an idiot, so I generally don't say it. Or I generally won't approach a girl because I'm afraid of rejection. So, you know, that's generally how it goes. So, I need to break out of that. Anyway, that's not about this. Uh, so, literally, um, you know, uh, I'm walking to class from, uh, from Women's Studies and 
I walked past her. She was talking to some other girls, some other girl, and the girl left. So two there, and I walked by, and she, no. Uh, we just started talking, we, and, uh, you know, she had a theater class, and apparently, uh, she, her teacher said that she's not a very good actress, and it's like, I don't want to be actress, but, you know, you need, you need that art credit, so I took drawing, of course, so she took, you know, theater, so, alright, so, we were talking, heading into class, and, uh, uh, we don't sit near, we don't sit next to each other, we sit near each other, but not, you know, any remotely close to even talk to each other, so, uh, we got to class, you know, just like, alright, well, I'll talk to you after class, she's like, oh, okay, so, no, I took my seat, she took her seat, class went. At the end of class, uh, she handed her test back, so when I got my test back, uh, and people started leaving, she's like, if you get your test, you can leave. So she was just sitting at her desk, looking at her test, you know? So I go over near her desk, and I'm just like, oh, how are you doing the test, you know? She's like, oh, I got an A, like, oh, great, you know? She, you know, she has a great grade in class, she's really smart. So, uh, you know, we just sit there, start talking. And apparently, it was her birthday, <laughs> you know, and generally I like to do, you know, something for people's birthdays, but I, I have nothing, I don't know, you know, I don't even know her that well, well enough to even, you know, uh, you know, celebrate her birthday. So, the funny thing is that it's not only her birthday, but it's also her younger sister's birthday, who's younger than her by two years, and also her mom's birthday, like, what the fuck, like, how does that happen, like, how do you have, d like, Oh, it's my birthday, I'm gonna have the baby on my birthday, and then two years later, like, oh, I have another baby on my birthday, like, how does it work like that? Like, I don't know. So, apparently, it was everybody's birthday in her family, which is funny. But, uh, uh, today in Vegas, well, not today, well, it's still today, but yesterday in Vegas, and probably today, you know, it's, uh, it's, lately, it's been raining a lot, it's been really stormy and rainy. So, uh, you know, from talking to her last time we talked, she does not drive, <laughs> she does not have a car. Um, it was her it's her twentieth birthday, so she's twenty. You know. So literally, uh, uh, she didn't have a way to uh, you know get home, and I didn't want I didn't want of course I didn't want her to walk home in the rain, and I wanted to be like you know da 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 Daniel's a hero, so I offered her a ride, and she's like no my mom's gonna pick me up. I'm like oh okay, so she's like oh I gotta call my mom. I'm like oh okay, she's like my phone is dead. I'm like <laughs> all right, so here you go. So I let her use my cell phone. So. She went ahead and called her mom. So I tried to play smooth. So I was like, "Well, you know, while you got my phone and you put in numbers, you know, to on your on my phone, how about you put your number?" She's like, "Oh, okay." So she, you know, put my her cell phone number in my phone. So I got her cell phone number. So yay, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> so, uh, you know, class ends about one o'clock, and her mom said, "Won't be able to pick you up till about two fifteen." So. <laughs> I'm like, well, I'm not doing anything today, even though that's a lie, because I'm always busy, but, you know, to flirt with a girl, I'll make time. But, uh, you know, I was like, well, I'm not doing anything today, so I'm totally don't mind waiting uh, with you. Plus, you know, you use my phone, your phone is dead, so if your mom calls, she's gonna have to call back on my phone, my phone, to, you know, get in contact with you. So, she's like, oh, okay, that's sweet of you. Like, Alright, so, nice, nice, com nice gentleman. Also, I decided to dress up extra swaggy. Like I'm wearing, I wore the dress shoes, the slacks, the tie, the, the freaking dress coat. I was, I was swagging it up. I was, I was looking extra swaggy today. Well, yesterday. <sighs> this whole time, time difference. <laughs> uh, anyway, she decided, like, you know what? And this is how nerdy she is. Remember, this is her birthday. And she's like, I'm not planning on doing anything for birthday. She's like, I don't want to do anything. You know, I, you know, apparently, her and her culture. Turning 18 is a big thing, so our sister just turned 18, and uh, apparently they're going to be doing some big party uh, this upcoming weekend. But to celebrate her birthday, she didn't want to do anything. She didn't want any money to be wasted on her birthday or anything. She, she just straight up did not want to celebrate her birthday. It's like, all right. So this is how dorky she is. She was like, she's like, let's go to. She's like, I want to go to math lab and start on my math homework. Like, okay. <laughs> so. Uh, she's like, but I don't, I didn't bring my math book. Like, okay, well, I brought my math book, you know, and I already started on the math homework, you know. Uh, she pretty much gave us four different math assignments, and I already finished three out of the four in class, so I only had one more to do. So, uh, we, uh, walk across campus and go to, uh, the math lab, and the math lab, we, you know, work on them. So, literally, uh, one, the last time it requires you to graph on, a, on a graphing calculator, like Desmos, an online graphing calculator, but... Of course, I did not know my login information, so she was nice enough to go ahead and log into her account for me. So, uh, you know, we're just sitting there doing our math homework together, like, you know, like dorks. We're sharing a math book, so of course, since we're sharing a math book, of course I had to get close to her. You know? So, uh, we end up working on math homework, just chilling together. So, uh, 
we uh oh oh I, I forgot that so of course when she put her number in my phone I generally when you know you give me a, give me your number I like to send you a text and be like hey it's Daniel to uh inform you that you know this is my number put in your phone so that that's also a crucial part of the story so I did that like right after she put her number in my phone so she could have my number of course so uh her it's time for her to go it's time for her mom to, to pick her up. So uh, we leave out of the, the math the math lab and we start uh, walking to in front of the uh, I building where her mom was gonna pick her up. So uh, literally when we get out right in front of the I building, her mom is driving up. She's like, "Oh, there's my mom." So uh, you know, before she leaves, she actually turns around and gives me a hug. You know, and you know, I don't get a lot of hugs from girls often, so it's kind of cool. You know, I'm just like, "Oh, wow, I didn't expect that." You know. So she hugs me, she's like, oh, thanks for all the help today, you know. So, you know, she hops in her uh, car and drives off, so I walk to my car and I drive. So, you know, generally when it comes to girls, I, you know, you give them, you know, if you ask, if you if you give a girl your number, women are so fucking shallow that they'll take your number and they won't text you. Or they're so shallow that and they don't want to hurt your feelings because bitches be crazy that... If you ask for their number, they, of course, will give you a fake number. So, uh, I was kind of worried about that. I was kind of like, well, you know, I, I'm done with you know, being like, hey, let me give you my number. Because they won't do anything with it. So, I'm like, give me your number. And then, you know, then I'll have your number. And if it's a fake number, then, hey, you know, if, you, if you're much of a bitch to give me a fake fucking number, then I see how it is. But, you know, if I give you my number, then, you know, and you don't feel like texting me straight up and you're a bitch. But, you know, there's nothing I can say about that. So, uh, you know. I sent her a text saying, like, hey, it's Daniel. And, uh, hold and behold, she actually texted me back. She actually texted me back and said, hi, Daniel. Yeah, so, uh, you know, I guess I'll be getting to know her. The only problem is, is that we're literally at the end of semester. I have two more class periods. Two. I have Tuesday, and I have the finals on Thursday. So, I gotta make my move quick. There's, 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 there's no, you know, being around the bush, you know. You know, for only our second real encounter, you know, talking with two hours and, you know, this, getting a hug. Getting her number, I think that's fine for only two encounters. So I literally got two classes. So literally, I gotta get close to her, you know, text her, get to know her. Hopefully, she texts me back, and eventually ask her on a date. You know, I need to break out of that friend zone before it's too late. So definitely, you gotta start uh, doing that. So if you're wondering, like, oh, so she texts you back? Did you text her back? No, <laughs> no, it's actually been like two hours since she texted me. So I'm trying to play it cool. I don't want to be like, too eager. Like I don't want to be like oh, she texted me. Like I'm camping my phone. Like I've been waiting for you to text me. I've been thinking about you. No, no, no. That's creeper status. Like no, just taking a chill. You know, I'm busy. I'm a busy man. I'm recording YouTube video. I'll text you when I'm good and ready. Hello. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So that's Shell Girl. So hopefully I'll be able to talk about more about her and um, what video that would be. That would be next Wednesday and of course next Friday. So, hopefully I can talk about that. If she became my first girlfriend, I would not be upset. So, that's chill. So, yeah. Also, I'm not sure how what she's planning. Because she said she's planning on going to Reno. So, you know. That might suck. Because that would be a long distance relationship. Yeah. But, if she plans on staying, you know, she's, she, she has to get a transcript and send it to Reno. And she gets a sub that she's going to Reno. She apparently wants to be an engineer major. So, apparently, uh, Reno has a good engineering program. So, you know, that happens if, hey, that happens, but, you know, there's no, there's no shame in, you know, talking to you know, girls, because I need to get better with girls anyway, because as you guys know, I'm terrible with women, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's how it's going down, so, like I said, I got two days to, uh, break out of the friend zone, so, so far, I got a hug in her numbers, so, let's go, <laughs> you know, her mom saw me, I'm not sure how she saw, saw about that, the good thing I was dressing up slightly, you know, so, you know, I may not be the same ethnicity as her, but, you know, I, at least I carry myself well, you know, she just sees this guy, with her daughter, you know, he's at least dressed well, so, you know, you know, I, I didn't get to introduce myself to her mom, but, um, you know, uh, hopefully I come across, you know, at least decently. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, pretty much it, so, yep, two days, let's see if I can do this in two days, so I'm gonna be texting her, hopefully she'll text back, getting to know her better, so let's do this. Alright, so, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of, uh, Daily Duels, like I said, Daniel can't stay with women. I, I, I'm like, I'm done. I'm done with women. I'm done fighting with women. And I turn around like, yeah, yeah, I'm talking to another girl. And then it leads to, oh, she's a fucking bitch. And what the fuck? And then rinse and repeat. <laughs> Welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So, uh, of course, uh, tag partners are returning. Uh, 
yeah, tomorrow. So, of course, I will see you guys tomorrow with um, Olympia Chaos and Slate. So, I'll probably be talking to them about what they think will be on the ban list. What do you think they should be hit? What do you think they'll be take off? So, you know, we'll have some interesting conversa conversation. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. See you guys tomorrow with uh, uh, Heraldics. Alright, thanks for watching.